recording all right so folks a hearty welcome to tgv inner circle september 2022 meeting in fact um, i don't want to the I, i don't want to take the credit of the topic as well as the format and it it is actually uh, proposed by sangeeta and in fact uh, she has come up with beautiful uh, framework to conduct this particular session so okay i'll i'm hoping i'll meet her expectations okay but um, i wish if i wish you could have done it better than me for sure because uh, whoever owns the topic right um, it's their baby and uh, they will raise it uh, with more affection than if it is a adopted child so the topic is uh, relationship with self right so before we dive deep into the topic let us uh, go round the table okay and sangeeta you can start typing in the uh, chat window okay uh the start uh, typing the your responses and all but uh, the question is what makes you happy and what are the things that you do to make you happy who wants to go first rohit i think you are trying to speak yes so maybe uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> i can go first is that for me uh, the meanest thing i can do for my happiness is to make fun of others like my colleagues like my team members and who jo bhi mere hatte chadta hai like uh, that's the first thing that <laughs> mostly i am doing mm-hmm. apart from that uh, seeing someone else progress if okay. i am able to help someone and then he or she gets something like from my help that's the mm-hmm. i would say the longest feeling of my happiness hmm apart from that uh, uh, my happiness comes from like watching movies some laughter shows so that's the three main pillars of my happiness oh wonderful mamsi i'm thinking hard but yes uh, for me the the one thing that i feel uh, nowadays because it keeps on changing uh, after a great workout uh, i have to go to office because the workout is in the morning <laughs> but that night sleep is the one that i am really happy about ah uh, okay yeah, and yes i i am now really honestly i am experiencing the other fact which rohit mentioned that uh, helping others so okay. i am collaborating with uh, one of the uh, well known famous uh, a uh, career mentor and he has a team and i am helping them with their uh, linkedin uh, content and other things they are getting breakthroughs interview calls and all those things so mm. when they say that uh, thank you th- the, when they use that two words thank you yeah, that is giving me some help and the icing on the cake uh, that those sessions happen saturday morning Yeah. and uh, my wife would be in the kitchen or doing something and uh, i keep the full volume and uh, i listen without uh, my and she keeps on whistling saying uh, listening the, thank you vamsi you help me there oh, thank you then she today morning she came and told oh now i understand you're doing something <laughs> <laughs> and by the way rohit i think you need to get some more tips from uh, vamsi he joined little late okay since how long you are married vamsi ah uh, now uh, 15 years 15 years okay so add uh, 35 plus 15 you have half century here <laughs> okay so it is <laughs> getting married on december 4th so okay. before uh, we got started right we were uh, sharing some tips in terms of how to be safe and all bhadram be careful brother <laughs> <laughs> all right good so yeah rohit uh, and vamsi are done sudhakar you want to go next what makes you happy uh you know when i went through this topic one thing that came to my mind and people generally say whatever comes to your mind about a question is the right answer mm-hmm. so positively influencing makes me happy it may be for myself it okay. may be for family friends inner circle society at large mm-hmm. i think that positive impact that you make in whatever shape form size percentage i think that makes happy yeah 
okay sudhakar is done and how about uh, sangeeta cooking makes me feel divine reading books meditating seeing plants grow spending time in solitude so which means here i think sangeeta is having some me time and i also observed rohit is having some me time whereas uh, the trend uh, the other trend that i observed in sudhakar and vamsi is about helping others right so which means we are focusing more on others like right now it is kind of balanced two of them are focusing on others and uh, rest two are focusing on self right so in my case what makes me happy to be honest like if first of all my family security if if my kids are happy if my mom is happy my parents my siblings if everybody is happy and people around me are happy right that that itself is enough and i rarely think about my happiness to be honest except for uh the weekend uh, the, the couple of drinks which i have on saturdays or sundays right uh, that is and end at times uh, that gives me happiness because typically I, i i don't engage in any activities on especially on sunday evening post 8 o'clock that is the time that i s- spend for myself either with my very close friends or relatives or at times it is alone but if you observe most of the things that we do right those are all like people centric be it in terms of be it in terms of uh, manage uh, making the family happy friends happy society happy so on and so forth right but how many times are we really thinking about taking care of ourselves and really focusing on making ourselves happy right that will be the focus or core of today's uh, inner circle conversation right and now let me move to the next question and next question is what is that you would love to do when you are alone right i i already answered this when i am alone most of the times i introspect and plan in terms of okay what should i do next what is going well what is not going well right likewise most of the times introspection happens and all but rarely i focus on my own happiness and all so over to you guys you can go around the table and uh, answer me what is that you do or what is that you love to do when you are alone so uh, yeah so for me like uh, the maximum time i'm uh, when i'm alone i am watching tv mm-hmm. so and when i am not doing anything so like not watching tv or anything so i try to inter- introspect as well but in in terms that how can i make myself uh, uh, grow in terms of leadership like how i can make myself uh, uh, be the person who can see the see both sides of the coin so i try to make myself into that way that people what people are not like but something that is different from others people see one one side of the coin and then they make this decision i try to think how can i uh, i would have reacted see, seeing the both sides of the coin so that's the that's it and uh, when i am uh, alone i am maximum times reading books self help books or maybe uh, books from my favorite author like uh, uh, he is the uh, i would say the best i have read till now devdat patnaik so any any book that i got from him like i'm reading that hmm great uh, sangeeta says when i am alone i write read and meditate and practice reiki too i sit in my garden and observe my plants yeah wonderful vamsi uh nowadays when i am uh, alone uh, some part of it goes to thinking of okay what should be the content <laughs> the next day content or next week content but off late i picked up a uh, few books uh, one is uh, from one of the greatest uh, poets vishnu satyanarayan garu so vei padagalu i am reading that and uh, i also purchased this uh, uh, shrimad ramayana kalpa ruksham so mm-hmm. i am reading that mm-hmm. so the bigger agenda is uh, uh, morning i am glad that was reading uh, valmiki ramayana and think that by the time uh, the the temple is ready in ayodhya mm-hmm. i done with uh, completing uh, valmiki ramayana 
Oh, wow. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> so most of the time now goes uh, in in the contemplation of uh, those things. Um, for me now, Rama, Bhagavan Rama is uh, not a God. But if I, fee- if I see him, I will just go and hug him. Mm-hmm. The way Valmiki put, it's just like, so most of the time goes now in that contemplation of why, how that person can really, a person like that can, is there really that person? So you're on mute, I think, Navi. Navi, you are on mute. All right. Yeah, it was intentional, by the way, because uh, I was attending a call. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> Sudhakar, go ahead and share what would you love to do when you are alone? Uh, to start with, uh, I am having a lot of alone time now. <laughs> because of the mistakes I did, Rohit, that we want you not to repeat. We talked about it offhand, right? Of the record. So, I, you know, Naveen, for me, when we are, I am actually alone, the, the time is uh, split uh, into three components, Naveen. The first one is, uh, you know, like uh, Vamsi, I also go through, uh, you know, some of the, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to sound religious, but something more uh, centric like our Purana, Sitihasas and all, like, right, that, that about 30-40% of my time goes there. Um, the about 30% goes in fun content like uh, you know the big bang theory friends you know two and a half man some sitcom some some fun and other 30% of time you know I I, you know Navin that I I write right so some writing some crazy ideas uh, some introspection to validate whatever was crazy, whatever was sounding crazy about 20 years back, whatever was there in the mind came into action. So that gives you that fulfillment, right? So it was after all, not that crazy thought. Yeah. So uh, I, I, Naveen knows it, but uh, for the benefit of uh, Vamsi, Rohit and Sangeeta, uh, five of my crazy ideas that I thought uh, in late 90s, uh, came into shape, into existence uh, already in the world. So, you know, that gives you, you know, to continue those crazy, crazy idea series more, just to see either by you or someone better, uh, bringing that into reality. So that actually gives that confidence. So I, I'd say typically these three components, like, you know, these are the three things that I do. Uh, but most of it is uh, watching, uh, listening, hearing, whatever. Hmm. Great. All right. So I, I think uh, the group here is different in terms of uh, approaching the relationship with self. And I can see positive trend in terms of your maintaining good relationship with yourself. But, you know, people say that uh, we have only one life and we have only one body to live in. And we have, we are the only one who will be there until we live, right? Because all relationships are for a few days, few months, few years, but life is much bigger. So instead of trying to detach ourselves from relationships, I think it is better to expand our awareness in terms of how to maintain ourselves despite the absence of those people that come and live our life, right? These are the words by... Sri Sri Ravi Shankar and uh, this actually motivated Sangeeta to expand her awareness and improve the relationship with herself but that's why if you could see her responses right she said she writes she journals she spends time cooking as well as observing the nature spending time in the garden so on and so forth right so here first of all if we observe this uh, word relationship right? Relation. Maybe let's start with the word relation. R stands for respected others. What do you mean by respected others? Like we have been respecting others and it's time to respect me. 
and second one second letter is e which stands for empowered others okay we have been empowering others right and at the same time it is the time for us to empower ourselves as well and l focus on life is much bigger than we think i have a favorite uh, example about these relations and all right what people say is your life is like a train journey and at every platform few people get into the train and few people deboard the train right or get down from the train but you are the one who reaches that particular final destination likewise life is much bigger than we think and a stands for aware action and appreciate what do you mean by that like we have to be aware of the present but unfortunately our thought process resolve, revolves around what has happened in the past and we are more concerned about the future right but let us take that first step which is about realization self realization right and next is the t which stands for thankful for the opportunity to live because the universe has created us and universe has blessed us to see these wonderful things in the life experience so many different things right so we got then we are obliged to thank because if we are grateful more and more awesome things come to us right and next letter is i again which is about introspect which most of us have been doing like that is evident through our conversation when i ask this question what is that you do when you are alone right and o oh, observe life everywhere ignore opinions because everybody has an opinion about anything and everything should we really care about those opinions or should we see the life as it is unfortunately by the time we start seeing life as it is half of the life is over right and n which is be natural be with nature and never compare you know i'll i'll tell my own experience of being with the nature i've been um, cycling for the last uh, one year i think it's been little over a year every day i make sure i cycle for at least at least 30 minutes and if i try most of the times i i try to go to swanya university which is about uh, 2 and 1/2 kilometers from my place through the back door and the campus is lush green you'll find some peacocks you'll find some beautiful birds birds beautiful birds and so many creatures and so much of uh, plantation and trees right i i really am enjoying those moments the spending time in the wood woods right that is really uh, relishing for me like it is rejuvenating me and uh, i i can see a lot of uh, positive influence in my health as well as uh, i am becoming more and more active right and uh, yeah sangeeta says i recently read very nice line yesterday and tomorrow lives in mind only present is what we live yeah beautiful very well said and uh, so uh, rohit also mentioned another comment if you observe we would find solutions to everything that is what yogi is yeah absolutely absolutely all right now uh, let us go further dive or go further deep into the topic and uh, what is your preference when it comes to relationships like do you want to keep them simple natural or do you want to build them with artificial behavior right most of the times people get into this uh, people pleasing mentality right they always want to uh, want to be praised and they wanted to be treated or uh, to be regarded as a greatest person in that particular room or whatever right because if if they tend to say no that might create a negative impression that is the mindset with which people are operating these days unfortunately getting into this people pleasing mentality and all but in general if you are natural right we have to think about how do we establish relationship naturally and in that process maybe uh, that reminds about uh, child or infants we have been very natural right because we didn't care about what others are going to think whatever has come to our mind we did whatever 
we wanted to express we expressed but over a period of time we got into the social conformity judgment biases and everything that led to that led us to add that artificial flavor into that relationship right and just think this particular question deeply how much you are aware of yourself and uh, your needs not the wants there is a difference between need and want right need is something basic and which is must right food shelter clothing likewise whereas a want is a luxury like i want to drive a bmw i i have an urge that is my need because i have to commute along with my family but if i'm wanting something beyond my ability beyond my affordability right then that, that becomes a want so we need to continuously think about what is our need versus want right and so that uh, it will give us an opportunity to go back to the same rhythm of life where we started and uh, so that we without conditioning our minds because if you are conditioning our minds again we are adding that particular artificial flavor and we are not living life to the fullest right so these are all some beautiful things captured by sangeeta and i'm thoroughly enjoying this and i hope you guys are able to resonate uh, with some of these points and i'll take a brief pause before we get into the next section of this particular session do you guys have anything to add okay i take silence as no and let me bring the screen share and uh, here is a question to all of you okay just take a look at this particular set of i i would not uh, this particular set of letters and put in the chat window the first first two words that come to your mind or you can try three words up to five, five words whichever comes to your mind by looking at this whichever you are able to see put them in the chat window for me you can reverence can you zoom a bit mm even is one word zoom i'm trying rohit is it better yeah it's better which words are coming to your mind by looking at this puzzle reverence yeah i came across the same thing i can see action rap interesting empower oh lifestyle okay sangeeta says reflect rohit were you able to find anything else rohit and vamshi getting what you guys have already found <laughs> okay can we get few more i see reflect i think we can go upwards downwards sideways also right box okay this is how we can look at it upward downward left right and then downward cross inclined
any more power yeah there is power in empower good one i see natural bottom left bottom second line from bottom from right to left alive here in the bottom fourth okay rohit says my any more i see p a by p okay in the interest of time i'll stop sharing okay so we got uh, so many words and out of which the ones which are related to the topic are action empower reflect lifestyle power natural alive right so what do we do these words maybe we can try this uh i i have a list of all words like action accept alive appreciate aware empower energize introspect life lifestyle natural never compare nourish reflect release fear reverence and thankful so out of this i think reverence is the first word that we came across right so let me ask you one question how much do you respect yourself and how many times do you listen to your inner voice while taking a decision who wants to go first so for me i can respect myself 70 80% <laughs> earlier it was 30 40 but now and to your next question how many time you listen to your inner voice every time so every time i because that's a sixth sense that i am like it it can tell me what's coming my way so that's uh, i can say pro and as a con for me <laughs> but i listen to my inner voice every time excellent vamsi you want to go next yeah at one point of time um, the self respect was really low <clears throat> but uh, due to some uh, god's grace i should say mentoring and uh, the that the dosage of self respect increased and the self doubt uh, definitely decreased so that's the thing that happened and i should say i should say first thanks to corona it was only <laughs> during that corona lockdown that all these things happened one re- reason to love corona <laughs> uh sorry i'm saying one reason to love corona apart from <laughs> more things <laughs> <laughs> see for me i've launched uh, the guiding voice platform and i was able to meet all wonderful people like you that is the positive side of corona <laughs> yeah that's the thing uh, navi yeah all right uh, sangeeta you want to type your answer respect my views make me strong to put my views forward yeah in my case uh, i i respect myself and i respect my decisions and most of the times i i do what i decide of course i seek opinion from others and if i really find weightage then i go by the decisions or else it will be my own decisions because i respect my thoughts right and sangeeta says i believe in my inner voice so with that let me move to the next question related to the words that we have identified it is action and what actions you love to take to know yourself better maybe you can think of 
physical activity or having healthy food anything right what actions you love to take to know yourself better uh for me like i read self help books dale carnegie and some other people and then try to see if i can re- relate those things to myself second thing that i do is i observe people i observe everyone like be it my juniors be it my seniors be family and anyone and try to see if the same thing i am doing if i am doing then i try to uh, think what was my reaction is the same reaction the other person is giving so that lets me know that the same thing is universal or i am a unique part i am doing something which no one else is doing my uh, like uh, yesterday only like uh, one of my junior was saying that uh, do you like he was asking his colleague do you also believe that eating uh, fruit uh, like those seeds can grow uh, plants in your uh, stomach so he said yes i also uh, thought that and he added that to see the like to test if that is true i ate a note like a, a 500 note he ate it so that of a, a tree may grow inside him so at that time i also realized that yes sometime down the line i also was be believing that during my childhood i was also believing that eating seeds would do the same thing there are many things which are which i am just comparing with others so that i can give yet that i can understand that yes this is the situation and this is the reaction i generally give so yeah that's the thing i do a great rohit how about you vamsi and uh, navin i will uh, just give me 5 minutes i my kid has come i have to attend something no problem yes, sangeeta i love cooking cooking is a beautiful experience when all the ingredients collaborate with each other and merge to give a best dish every ingredient is unique but by combining all we make infinite unique dishes awesome awesome yeah in my case uh, i think keeping my physical fitness is something very very important to me because all of us like 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 all of us like ours is uh, mentally stressful jobs and all and if you have to be mentally fit first i believe that we have to be physically fit and uh, i love to keep my body in shape so that first so that i respect myself right in case if i realize that i'm putting on weight and all i feel very bad that's why i don't disappoint myself right so that that is uh, the thing that i do right now moving to the next word that we have identified it is empower how do you empower yourself how do you empower yourself if you think certain questions are not relevant we can skip and move to the next one that's absolutely fine by knowing your potential strengths rohit any thoughts from your side sorry i missed the question the question uh, is how do you empower yourself by empowering others by empowering others wonderful awesome and next question related to the words that we have identified is alive do you feel lively when alone or when you are surrounded by people like when you are in crowd when in crowd same with me like when i am uh, with people i get energized and especially my work involves running a lot of workshops and all and i get the energy by meeting people <laughs> for me it is being alone uh, <laughs> i i say that <clears throat> i can enjoy my 
meal or my food sitting alone in a restaurant. Nice. And Sangeeta says, I feel alive in both scenarios. Wonderful. And next word is natural. So everything grows naturally. And do you think we need to put extra effort to grow relationships artificially? I would say it depends like whether that relationship is what like in my view, like if I'm talking about my wife or my family, I try to keep everything natural. But when I'm going towards a corporate relationship or anything related to my colleagues, friends, and since the since over the time, friends have also changed. Now they are not expecting like they don't like the uh, real Rohit. They tend to be more formal. So I would say yes, depends on the relationship type and the time where, where you are. There are friends who may I may go natural. There are friends where I may go artificial. I whom I was not that much uh, like artificial before, but now I am. So yeah, depends completely on the time frame and the type of relationship. Okay, great. Sangeeta, how about you? Did you, are you typing something? Okay. See, for me, I try to be natural when it comes to uh, relationships and at times uh, in our professional work environment, right? Irrespective of whether you like someone, not like someone, people tend to go artificial. That is the only situation that I see the need or else if somebody really has some dire need, wherein if you don't speak to that person, your work is getting stuck or you will not be able to move forward in those scenarios. I think artificial relationships might come into picture, right? And uh, Sangeeta says, naturally giving space and time for relations to evolve. Yeah. I'm very bad at artificially maintaining relationships. Yeah. Indeed, uh, myself as well. Like I speak my mind, I speak my heart and I'm like this with everyone. <laughs> Vamsi. Rohit says, I'm same. Okay, we will take one last word out of the ones which we found. It is about reflect, which we have already covered. Yeah, next, maybe I, I would pick the first word in the list, which is accept. Do you accept your mistakes and weaknesses and try to work on it? Is it okay to make mistakes? Rohit says, he gets irritated when I have to behave artificially. Yeah, indeed. So going back to the accept part, is it okay to make mistakes and accept ourselves for what we are? Yes. In my yeah. view, yes. But uh, I have seen people and have been in situations where accepting a mistake is a mistake. Uh, let me tell you one scenario. Like, <laughs> some years down the line, I was going to learn some like this tally software, like it was an accounting software. So at that time, my teacher was uh, not behaving properly. So I told my father like that happened. And then at that time, I said, sorry, one day before. So he used that sorry against me only and portrayed me as a villain. So I would say accepting mistake may be a mistake as well. But I said, like, I am the first person to accept my mistake. Maybe be it at in, in front of anyone, if in my front of juniors, seniors, my colleagues. But sometimes I don't accept mistake intentionally 
to just to irritate the other person like this this is what i am doing in uh, in front of barkha in front of my family so close people in people to whom i am natural not to art, artificial pe- uh, relationships sure vamsi and in the meantime sangeeta says i accept my mistakes and correct myself um yeah for me i i, I think that was the turning point mm-hmm. i was having the syndrome of it's okay everything is fine and uh, the ostrich syndrome so <laughs> my mentor actually kicked me on the rear side and told it's not like that <laughs> and that day, the day i realized that oh no it's not, it's truly not like that and i uh, but i would only also say that accepting mistakes uh, is actually very being very naive it's okay out of compulsion some people will say that uh, okay i have done it's it's i know it's my mistake but the journey actually starts from there because uh, uh, it matters what actions we take after realizing that it's it's my mistake Mm-hmm. only thing that i uh, uh, that happened at that from that point of time is mistakes did not mistakes actually doubled because i was trying new things but the amount of complaining uh, came down drastically yeah so the onus was always i was always in the spotlight not because i made mistake but because now i'm ready to take action and i'm doing action mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. rohit says it turns everything 360 degree beat in good or bad way see when it comes to accepting mistakes in my case uh, i admit if i made a mistake in the team environment i don't feel bad about it because uh, that is where we need to have the courage to admit the mistakes but when it comes to accepting the mistake i'm really poor at it to be honest like i which means i feel bad and i repent kind of thing and i try to punish myself which is not good right the mistakes are human after all we are all human beings and uh, it is okay to continue but that's a profound question all right so that is about the puzzle piece and the words and relevant questions and now uh, let's do this activity i really love this activity sangeeta and it's about releasing fears and worries right and um, here is the instruction let us all sit straight when you are we need to make sure our spine is erect okay it is straight and the reason is if our spine is erect and straight our body absorbs oxygen efficiently and uh, request all of you to close your eyes and imagine you have a balloon in your hand and you have to blow it okay imagine balloon in your hand and you have to blow it and imagine fears worries judgments that are revolving in your mind and now take a deep breath while exhaling imagine you are releasing your fears worries and blowing the balloon means you are de- while deflating the balloon so release the balloon and then repeat the same process two more times at your convenience so sit straight and think as if you are blowing or inflating the balloon put all your worries thoughts judgments into it take a deep breath and exhale you are removing the balloon so that air comes out of it so is the case with our worries judgments and fears right i think we can do one more time imagine a balloon in your hand and you're inflating it with your worries thoughts judgments you're taking a deep breath and then exhaling while removing all those thoughts worries fears and judgments right so this is our first step in terms of loving ourselves and maintaining 
good relationship with ourselves right and rohit says uh, some 2 hours early i accepted my mistake in front of my team and asked for your suggestion on how to improve yeah that actually relieves a lot of stress and we don't have to repent for anything right because in case if we don't admit the mistake the thought will be running in our mind all the time and sangeeta is asking like how was your experience with this activity it's wonderful you got a thumbs up i love this exercise we'll definitely use this wonderful all right so that is about r and e is about energizing ourselves by practicing deep breaths okay that we took in the first step and l love yourself to live with purpose see first of all we need to find our purpose why are we living right people say you are born for a cause right sometimes if you observe some great leaders and all they say they are born for a cause and so is the case with each one of us also right we have a purpose why universe has created us why we are existing so once you find that then life will become easy and a is about by breathing deeply we become aware of your best friend who will stay with you till you exist which is our breath our breath is our best friend right because without our best friend we will not survive and our breath will be there until we live what a great connotation there and t is for thankful maybe it is advisable to maintain a gratitude journal but many a times we overlook things that we are blessed with we always complain or whine about what we don't have but honestly if we start noting down what we have the list will be immense right and then you compare with the list of items the list of possessions that we have with people that are really craving for right so this is something very profound and uh, gratitude journal will definitely influence our minds and make us be grateful to the universe so that you know it will give us more in return like all we have to do is express that particular gratitude because uh, i'm sure most of you might have heard about this book what is the name of the book magic right ronda ronda brian in that book she has beautifully explained how this concept of gratitude works and how the universe is going to respond to us we are what we think so that's why our subconscious has to be filled with this positive thoughts and then definitely more and more positive things come our way right and then i for introspection like we can again maintain a thought diary and most of us have the habit of uh, introspection the which was evident in our statements but it is all also advisable to pen and write down the thoughts and then we can categorize positive and negative and next is o which is about uh, observing the breath after every 30 minutes of work and i think take three deep breaths and observe your breath right that will have a positive influence and we will become more and more self aware because that is what they teach in yoga and meditation it's all about breath if we are able to regulate our breath we can regulate our thoughts regulate our mind and even regulate our body and next is n which stands for natural like as we have been talking about spending time with the nature listen to the chirpings of the birds and small bees always i think we need to make a point to visit some places where you have greenery even the artificial parks would also do some magic because certain species of birds come there and it will give us a lot of uh, relief right and uh, in because we are all living in the concrete jungle and we rarely find time to be indulged in the nature so that's why at least once a week try to spend time with nature if possible try to do it daily right so that is about the word relation but you know this relation sails in a ship 
which is made of solitude health inner voice and peace and playfulness right and if you were to expand these solitude is all about when you are alone how you feel and treat yourself will tell your strength of relationship with you right are you constantly surrounded by negative thoughts you can observe that when you are in solitude health the most important aspect right we should not ever ever take health for granted because people who are sick right people who undergo some severe physical ailments they understand the value of health but people like us who are healthy and fit right we overlook that's why we should not get into a situation wherein we struggle so always give importance and priority to the physical and mental health both so that we can maintain appropriate energy levels and about the inner voice believe in yourself right and about peace and playfulness what sangeeta has quoted is your life is melting like ice cream so do not focus on other ice cream and lose peace rather enjoy each bite of your ice cream and life is an opportunity to play joyfully actually this statement uh, reminds me of uh, a beautiful speaker that we hosted on tgb hansika tyagi unfortunately she is no more she is a girl who suffered from sma to spinal muscular atrophy but still she was brave she was completely bedridden in fact i took her interview while she was lying on the bed and her mom was holding the phone and all but i was super impressed by the kind of thought process that she had on life and all and she also quoted the same thing live life as if you are eating an ice cream enjoy every moment enjoy every bite and enjoy it before it melts right so that is about the relationship with self right so i'll stop here and maybe we can go around the table for any final round of thoughts try some time when you control your breath your thoughts get in control rohit yeah people like her tells what life is they are the real life yeah indeed any closing thoughts from anybody guys on the facts you mentioned right actually mm-hmm. i i uh, out of out of uh, our busy schedules um, i mean you know, not to generalize but even for me also there are few posts that i just go through them and uh, out of compulsion because i am in some groups where we need to like the post the moment it is posted and all those things. Uh-huh. It, it is okay to it is okay to do because we can see the carousel and sk- and ultimately it is um so, so uh, small is big right in uh, linkedin content and all those things less is more hmm. but there are some posts that people who are into these kind of things helping people to come out of uh, these troublesome states and when when they put that post mm-hmm. we, uh, it happened many times with me especially in the mornings uh, when uh, in our group there are few people who are working on mental health and all those things and when they write these kind of thoughts early in the morning actually they make impact they make us feel that yes this is this is not something people are just saying because they want to create content or it is just that okay something has to happen and they don't uh, they only want to uh, talk as if nothing wrong is going in the world it is initially i used to feel that it is these things people say because they want to sugar coat something which is not good it it's like spraying perfume on plastic flowers but later i realized when i met some people and spoke that okay this is not a small thing this is this is a serious concern there is a there is a pain and i i every day almost once in uh, once in two days i feel some pain from my mentees also when i mentor them in embedded systems and all those things they actually have that something is missing terribly that they are not okay with their life and it, the pain is not uh, just a superficial it comes from very deep and you sometimes get mood there were instances where in mentees cried they say sir wait and they, they they switch off the camera 
उसके बाद जब आएगा तो यू नो वॉश्ड फेस राइट सो यू नो वॉट है bad behaviors of uh, people around us which might have irritated us which might have hurt us right and in those situations we have to make a note okay i don't want to be like this person despite of how odd the situation becomes <laughs> wonderful so any other closing thoughts from you sangeeta okay looks like you are um, typing the message but i thoroughly enjoyed the way this is uh, created or crafted i would say and i'm not sure if i met your expectations but it gave me a good uh, experience okay and um, on that note uh, i would again wa- nominate you to volunteer to be the host for october since you are not able to speak today <laughs> all right so thank you guys and i really appreciate uh, all of you taking time on a saturday evening as always and <laughs> thank you thank you for being here and sharing your perspective and really appreciate it so see you all in the next month's meeting and sangeeta thank you at least it look like it it's my baby <laughs> thank all you right. everyone thank you sangeeta bye guys take care Bye all. Bye.